Well, today is a national holiday and more and more places and people are now celebrating Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. From Montgomery County, Maryland to the district, there were events and celebrations to recognize Native Americans. News 4's Derek Ward shows us. First official Indigenous Peoples Day was observed in 1990 in South Dakota. Last year, a presidential proclamation took it national, and currently 17 states and the District of Columbia observe it as an official holiday in place of Columbus Day. Our children, from the time they are sung into life, they're at our knee. They must know the truth. The conversation surrounding Columbus Day is nothing new. For many Native Americans, Columbus's arrival in the hemisphere is associated with the harbinger of disease and enslavement. And one of the things that they want to do today is convey some information, specifically about history. Not just the history that we may have been taught, but history that encircles the entire indigenous experience. Because as Native people, we fought against one another. That's the truth. There's the truth of war and there's the truth of peace to be taught. The indigenous influences on things like the American Constitution and our Confederation of United States, straight out of the Iroquois great law of peace that brought the six nations together. That's our democracy. And, it, you know, it's... I mean, we don't mind sharing it. Shelley George is a member of the Onondaga Nation of New York, one of the original tribes of the Iroquois Confederacy. We have had our laws before say per se Columbus and uh, Europeans came. And there are other truths alive in the names that surround us in our rivers, the Potomac, the Anacostia, in our town and city names, Pamunkey, Maryland, Powhatan, Virginia. 6.79 million natives that's on the census here in the United States. But still, people think there's no natives left. Bonnie Sears of King William County, Virginia, is a member of the Pamunkey Nation. If we stood together in unity, what a force. For now, they'll stand together in remembrance of their ancestors on ground that once belonged to those Iroquois ancestors, celebrating the steps forward, like the observance of Indigenous Peoples Day and the work they say still needs to be done, work that makes some uncomfortable. It's not about feeling bad. It's about not making the same mistakes. Lessons for indigenous people, lessons for everyone. On the Mall, Derek Ward, News 4.